to be crowned this season's national champion. There's been so much that's gone into getting here, twists and turns, and now it builds to this, the battle for supremacy. And these two teams have survived the expanded playoff grind. They have battled through a regular season, multiple playoff victories, all sorts of challenges and adversity, and they've arrived at this moment, the battle for that precious trophy. As we'll see a squad from the Big Ten, the Penn State Nittany Lions, taking on another team from the Big Ten, the Oregon Ducks. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here as always by Kirk Herbstreet. Kirk, everything has been building to this. It's time for the national championship. Let's crown a champion. The kickoff team is out there, and you can feel the energy. One game to determine the national championship. And here's the return from inside the five. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. The Nittany Lions offense comes on the field first today. Well, here we go. The energy in this building is absolutely amazing, Kirk. We are just 60 minutes away from crowning a new national champion in college football. And think about it as a player, this is really what you dream about. This is what you work towards, having an opportunity to get to the national Oh, and nothing but green grass ahead. And an explosive play. Stop finally made across midfield at the 44. And we have an absolute lightning strike on the first play from scrimmage here. How about that? Right out of the gate, they're going for the big play, and they hit it. What a way to jumpstart this offense. On the run, it's Singleton. Oh, and he fumbles. Offense recovers the fumble, maintains possession. The offensive staff just took a collect. Hold on a second. The replay official has signaled that he wants to have another look at this play. So after taking a closer look, the officials are going to overturn that previous ruling on the field. The throw. It's Aller. That's a fly to the wideout. Finds a man open on the right side downfield. They bring him down to the 27. This offense really threatening now. That's another huge game for this guy. And I'll tell you what they're doing a good job of is moving him around. He's not aligning just in one spot where the defense has an idea of where he is to try to take him out of the game. They've moved him around, given him a chance to get some one-on-one -on -one matchups. And boy, is he taking advantage of that here in the first half of the national title. And looking to throw now on first down. Delivers from the pocket, complete over the middle. They make the tackle, but that pass creates a solid game. These undersized slot receivers can be some of the toughest guys to contain for a defense. They're quicker than they really are fast, and they're very elusive, tough to contain in these one-on-one -on -one matchups. The Nittany Lions are in the red zone. Again, thrown out of the RPO, and it's complete. Not much after the catch, but it is good enough for a first down. This is what makes the RPO so difficult to defend if you have a quarterback who can read it. It's that old argument, which guy has the chalk last? Well, with a quarterback that can read it like that, the quarterback has the chalk last. He reads that they're up, makes the throw in the quick slant, gets some really good yards. But they don't make the connection. That one is incomplete. Well, I'm a big fan of the RPO, but it is a dangerous play for the quarterback. You gotta make the right decision. On this play, it just seemed like he was a little hesitant, unsure, and it cost him here with an incompletion. Coming to the line on second down, this is important. They want to avoid a third and long. They'll run it from the gun. Tackled behind the line, it's a loss of two. Well, they run it right into a blitz, and that linebacker was coming downhill, Kirk. Man, what a time to call that blitz here by the defensive coordinator. And you're right, he shoots right through that A-gap. Really, the back had nowhere to go. By the time he got the ball in his hands, the linebacker's right in his face. And they convert here on third down in the red zone. This is a four-point type of play, touchdown or field goal. Grab behind the line. It's Fleming. Defense stops him short of the marker. So now it's fourth down. Boy, wide receiver screen can be hit or miss. Either receiver finds a nice crease and picks up big yards, or the defense completely negates that. The team speed from the defense here wins that play. So they'll settle for a field goal attempt here. 
And the field goal is good. It breaks the scoreless tie here, makes it 3 0. And that one, my gosh, I mean, it's almost too easy. Nice kick. So after the field goal, the kicker out there again to boot it away. Fields it just outside the goal line. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. So the Oregon Ducks offense gets their first crack now. And here we go, the other half of this running back matchup we've been looking forward to. Kirk. Both guys come in rested, fresh, and very motivated. How great is this, Chris? Usually in this era, it's about the quarterbacks and the receivers and getting the ball out in space. And in this matchup, we got two of the best running backs in the country going head-to-head. -head. They bring him down, but the drive has now reached the 35. Boy, good job up front by this offensive line and a nice job by the back of finding that hole to pick up the first down. And honestly, Chris, this is what I think about when I think of Oregon. I know the uniforms and the flash and the dash and all the different things that people associate with this program. This is what I think about, toughness, ability to run the ball when they have to to pick up first downs, and they did it right there. Really solid first down gain. He's just short of the marker, so maybe a chance here to take a downfield shot. Getting set. Here's second down. They'll run it here. Good enough for first down yardage. Sometimes I almost get mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, the eyes that carry their feet to the open space, making people miss. I just love watching those guys do work. The Ducks come to the line to start a fresh set of downs. Snags the quick throw. Fights off a defender. Finally out of bounds after a solid game, but there is a flag on the field. So let's check this out. And the head coach will decide to accept the penalty and take the yardage. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. Looking to pass. It's Gabriel. The pass rush closing in. And the senior making a disruptive impact play. Nothing is more gratifying for a defense to be able to sit back and play zone and still get pressure on the quarterback with your defensive front. And Sack sets up a second down and long. On the ground, it's James. Defense gets him down, but they'll take the gain on that play. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Quarterback drops back. Good throw to the left, but they don't connect. It's incomplete, and it brings up fourth down. Hey, it's an incompletion, but it's a nice job by the quarterback. I know it didn't pan out, but the most important thing is he didn't turn the football over, and he didn't take a sack. It'll give your kicker a chance to put some points on the board if they opt for the field goal here on fourth down. So the decision is to not go for it, but settle for three. Here comes the field goal team. And he knocks that one right through. And the game is now tied. Boy, this guy had plenty of leg here, too. Chris, you remember the days when a kick from 50-plus was a major accomplishment? Now these guys knock these out like they're almost automatic.
So after coming away with three in that drive, the kickoff team is out. Return begins inside the 10. He's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. And the Penn State offense comes back on the field. The last possession, they moved it, but settled for a chip shot. So it's sort of an unsatisfying result. Looking to do more here. They'll tackle him right at the 25-yard line. Hey, listen, you don't always have to have big plays to be successful. It's a nice, solid gain here. Keeps you on schedule, and you get ready for that next play. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Quick throw by the quarterback off the RPO. He's found some room at the 45. Tackle made quickly, but a big chunk play for this offense through the air. Boy, huge play by this offense. A good throw, a nice, accurate throw. But I think it's the run after the catch that really impresses me. And early in this game, you got to think they're going to continue to go back to him until this defense shows that they can slow him down. Back to throw. It's Allen. Quarterback delivers complete to the right side. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Well, this is exactly what you want to see from the defense. Yeah, you give up the catch, but you're right there to be able to stop this receiver from making any yards after the catch. Now it's second down here. Quarterback drops back, probing the secondary. The downfield shot is incomplete. Brings up third down. Some players just have a real knack for timing their jump, and that defender was able to get a big paw on the ball and bat it away. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Looking to chuck it again. Quick throw to his receiver. It's complete. What a grab near the sideline. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. Well, if I'm this defense, you get these guys to third down, you better bracket or double team some kind of coverage roll to this receiver to take him away. This guy makes another big play. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. Grab down the middle. It's Warren. And he's brought down at the one-yard line. What a play on the completion. As the tight end flexed out into the slot, looking for a matchup there, Kirk. Well, it is a matchup because he has the size where he's very difficult to be able to match up for his safety. And he's got the speed to be able to outrun a linebacker. That's why they like to flex him out like that and be able to pick up nice big gains like this. And they're trying to punch it in here. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Penn State. Well, I just love to see an offense finish off a drive. You get inside that five-yard line, you've got to be able to pound the ball to the goal line and into the end zone. Great job to finish it off. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. PAT puts him in front by seven. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. He's going to return it from near the goal line. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. And the powerful Ducks offense retakes the field. The last drive produced three points thanks to an excellent long-range field goal. Opening play of the drive, quick throw to the left. They tackle him at the 38. Solid gain. Nice play there. Hey, a first down here by this Oregon offense. Nice to see the quarterback and receiver in sync and very efficient. Something that Oregon really prides itself on. As much as you want to think about that quarterback with the ability to run, remember, they can hurt you with their arm as well. 
The offense will line up. Chance for a couple more plays before the end of the quarter. Play action here on first down. On the junior gets home making a sack there. And Kirk, it's Penn State on top as we break for the quarter. So both teams settling in in this battle for the national championship through one quarter. Let's check out the game summary. All right, let's get back to the action. Getting closer to finding out who will be celebrating here tonight. We'll see if they can overcome the sack. Second and very long. Looking for a deep completion. That deep shot is caught for a big game. And just like that, in one play, they move into scoring position at the 23. That is great arm strength and accuracy by this quarterback. And let's not forget the wide receiver's job of bringing it in for that big game. And the Ducks come to the line in the hurry up. Motion by the back. Defense better adjust. And a short pitch and catch to the tight end. And a nice first down game there. They get him down, but very close to the first down marker. That's what makes this tight end so dangerous. You can flex him out into that slot position. He shows you his versatility. He can be an inline guy that can block, but here he shows you what he can do with his hands. Here comes a crucial second down play. Every yard tough to find down here in the red zone. Caught in the backfield. It's Holden. Brought down, but the completion moves the ball to the six. Defense getting pushed back. And the Ducks come to the line with first and goal. He'll try to run it in on first and goal. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. Chris down here inside the 10-yard line. These are tough yards to come by. Positive yards. Good push inside there by that offensive line. Offense facing second and goal. On the ground, trying to muscle it across the line. And the defense smothers him for no gain. Boy, just stoned at the line of scrimmage by this defensive front. They have been having their way at the line of scrimmage the entire first half of this national championship. And if these guys do not find a way to become more than one-dimensional, there's no way they're going to be able to dig themselves out of this hole. That's the wide receiver coming in motion now. Look at a throw on third and goal. He's running out of time here. And he's brought down. Offense going backwards with the sack. I mean, that's another sack, Chris. I mean, we're just getting started here. First half, and you're already talking about giving up three sacks. you got to think about changing things up schematically, help that offensive line, and help that poor quarterback before he gets killed. So on fourth down, the decision is to trot out the field goal team. Knocks that one right down the middle. Snap, the hold, the kick, everything there perfect to put three points up here for the offense. Come away with three points on the drive, and now the kickoff team will boot it away. He'll return it from inside the five. Not much on the return. They'll stop him at the 24. Good coverage. And the Nittany Lions offense retakes the field. Remember, last time they scored a touchdown. Can they keep clicking here, or the defense come up with a stop? 
They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. Oh, my gosh. Give this defense all the credit in the world. They had their eyes in the right position playing assignment football. Quarterback just looking for daylight. Couldn't find anywhere to go there on the keeper on the option. Again, that's great assignment football by the defense. The loss sets up a second and long from the 20. Dropping back. It's Allen. Looking right. This one caught. And they bring him down. That's a very solid gain, but still well short of the marker. Well, the running back that time just kind of sneaks out of the backfield and shows his hands on that nice catch. Offense will try to convert a third and long from the 27. We'll see if the defense brings the blitz. Back in motion now. And he'll drop back here on third down. Caught over the middle. It's Singleton. That picks up a first down. A spot it at the 39. Really nice job here by the quarterback. He sells it looking downfield, knowing he wants to hit his running back on the angle route. Effective play to move these chains. The Nittany Lions with first and ten here. There's the handoff. Breaking free at midfield. They bring him down, but the game moves the ball into enemy territory at the 43. Boy, great job up front here getting this first down by this Penn State offense. And great combination over the years that we've seen at State College. The ability to run the football with an offensive line that can get that push and a big physical back that can be a pick up those yards, get those first downs. And at first down, they go right back to him. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Important second down play coming up. Fakes the handoff here, looking to throw it. Quarterback looks to his right and finds his man. Defense reacts quickly, a very short gain on the play. They come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. Grab down the middle, it's Allen. Defense makes the stop very close to a first down. Chris, great effort here by this defense to keep him short of the first down. Now they've got a tough decision to make here on this fourth down and short. So now on fourth down, out comes the field goal unit. This will be a long-range attempt, 51 yards out. He knocks this one right through. Boy, this guy has such a strong leg. No problem. Up into the net from 50-plus. Following the field goal, the kickoff team is out there now. And he'll bring it out from inside the 10. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. And the Oregon offense comes back out on the field. After a field goal the last time out, we'll see what they can get here. Run down after a seven-yard game, so it's second and three. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Defense is coming after him. Just throws it away, but takes a big hit in the process. I mean, this defense is having their way with this offensive line. That poor quarterback doesn't have a chance. Every time he drops back to throw, he's getting ear hole. You better make some adjustments up front to give your poor quarterback a chance. 
Offense looking to convert on third and short in the 27. Dropping back, it's Gabriel. This one's going to fall incomplete. Brings up fourth down. Man, on your own side of the field, you're playing a risky game here. Third and short. Your goal should just be keep this drive alive the best way you can sometimes. Is just hand the ball off to your running back and have him get behind that offensive line and go to work. Curious to see what they do now here on this fourth and short. And on fourth down, the punter sends it away. The fair catch made at the 30-yard line. First down here. Time for one more play before the clock stops for the two-minute warning. Off the play fake on first down. Looking to throw it deep. And the clock stops now for the two-minute warning. A chance to strategize here before we reach halftime. Incomplete. Second down coming up. From the shotgun, drops back. Caught over the middle. It's Singleton. Defense makes the stop after the completion. Important third down play coming up after that completion. Here's the snap. Quarterback drops back. Receiver makes the catch. He's tackled quickly, but the yardage is good enough for the first down. What a nice find there by the quarterback on third down. One of the most telling stats for me at the end of the game is how you do on third down. Being a good third down team is invaluable to your team's offensive success. That's why you drill it so much in practice. Got him for a sack. A big play made them one of the senior leaders of this defense. Well, this sack is on the quarterback, in my opinion. Anytime you call a screen, you've got to be aware that that pass rush is coming in. Bait them towards you and go over top. This time, he's unaware of how quickly they were going to come in. Second and long for this offense after the sack. Back to throw. It's Aller. And the completion made. And they bring him down after a solid gain, but it's still well short of the first down marker. And now the offense will call a timeout. Some of the coach didn't like about this. Crucial play coming up. Challenging play for the offense. They face third and long here from their own 43. Grab down the middle. It's Warren. And look at the speed there. They finally bring him down, but it's a nice game. Most defensive coordinators focus a lot of their energy on how their unit performs on third down and in the red zone. They give up a couple more third down conversions like that, and they're in for a very unpleasant film session on Monday. And the Nittany Lions begin a new series here, first and ten. Looking for the wide out. Easy throw to a wide open receiver downfield. And he's finally forced out of bounds inside the 10. Big play to set up a first and goal. Boy, this defense looks like they are confused, and they should be. This wide receiver is putting on a clinic here in the first half. He sees blood in the water right now, and he's got over 100 yards in the first half already. There's the snap. They'll set up to throw. And it's picked off in the end zone. When you get this close to the end zone, you've got to be able to come away with points, at the very least, a field goal. They've got to be scratching their heads and hoping that in the second half, this play right here doesn't come back to bite them. Here comes the first play of the drive. Can they do something in the final 30 seconds of the half? And they're moving the receiver now before the snap. From the shotgun, handoff inside. Has a nice stiff arm, doesn't produce much, just a small gain. Meta's gonna wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it now to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Chris, thanks. What else might we expect in a game of this magnitude? everything on the line the eyes of the sports world on this battle with the coveted gold trophy at stake 
And the story of the half has been that elite corner. We were told he was tough to throw against. He's basically taken away an entire side of the field when he's out there, causing turnovers and getting physical. How often do we say that about lockdown guys and how this offense schemes against him in this second half will be fun to watch. And with that, let's send it back to Chris and Kirk of the booth, fellas. Hard to believe we're only one half away from crowning a national champion. The Ducks will kick this away to begin the second half. The turn starts from inside the five. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And the Oregon offense is back out on the field. First play of the drive, they look to the right. They tackle him at the 38. Solid game. Nice play there. Boy, nice completion here by this Oregon offense to be able to show you it's not just about the quarterback's ability to run. Often you associate that with that Oregon quarterback, right? That dual threat guy, kind of can run it. Do not forget about their ability to throw the football out in Eugene. Think about Darren Thomas, the career that he had. He started for a few years, took his team all the way to the national championship, made some big throws, and Justin Herbert. Of course, enough said we see it every NFL Sunday, what he can do. Four-year starter for the Ducks. We're still seeing these Ducks quarterbacks being able to throw the football. The Ducks will come to the line to run the hurry up. They'll try the ground game here with the running back. Getting close to midfield now. They bring him down to the 47. But I feel like they call that knowing chances are they're not going to hit a home run. But look at this. Put themselves in a perfect third down situation. It's much more manageable. Now we'll see if they can convert. Solid gain on the running play. Third down now. Can he make it to the marker? Great move in the open field. Tackled inside the 40, and it's good enough for a first down. Good job up front by that offensive line, getting a good push to be able to allow the back to pick up this first down. This is an important drive for this offense. Now that they got a first down, they can open up this playbook and keep attacking this defense. The Ducks are moving quickly down the field. A handoff from the shotgun. The junior able to bring him down quickly. It's exactly what you want to see as a play caller. You get positive yards to be able to kind of keep you on schedule as a play caller. That's all you can ask for. Good job up front and a nice run. Here's the second down play. Ball handed off. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Chris, I'll be really honest with you. I don't know why they continue to try to run the football. I'm all about balance. I'm all about trying to make sure defense has to defend the run and the throw. But at this point in the game, they haven't been able to run the ball. They're going to have to go through the air if they're going to come back and take the lead in this game at some point. To throw, it's Gabriel. Running out of time in the pocket. A sack in the play could not escape the pass rush. Between the defensive scheme and the athletic ability of this front and the linebackers getting pressure as well, the way they've been able to harass this quarterback has a lot to do with why they're enjoying such a big lead in the national title. And the Ducks bring their punt team onto the field. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. And no chance for a return as the punch sails out of bounds. And the Penn State offense is back out on the field. The last possession ended in a dreaded red zone interception. Let's see if they can bounce back from that costly error. Opening play of the drive, he looks right for a completion. He's brought down quickly as short gain gets them a few yards closer to the marker. Game makes it second and medium. It's a quarterback keeper. Breaking free at the 35. 
They bring him down, but that's a good play. It moves the ball to the 39. Man, is this guy difficult to deal with or what? When your quarterback can just say, I am pulling this down and I am taking off myself on the option, he has that kind of speed. As a defense, all you can do is just say your prayers. A running play gives the offense a fresh set of downs. And the back now goes in motion. On the run, it's Allen. Second down after that run on the previous play. Looking downfield, it's Aller. From the pocket, delivers over the middle. Tackle is made. That's a short gain, well short of the marker. Offense looking to keep the drive going here. Third and short now from the 44. There's the snap. Looking to throw the ball. But just gives up on the play. Throws it away. And now it's fourth down. Well, it looked like the quarterback had everything that he needed there. Had great protection. The receiver ran a nice route. Just not able to convert there on that third down. Let's see what their decision is on fourth down coming up. The Nittany Lions will send the punt team onto the field. With the return, it's Johnson. And they've got the returner corralled. And that powerful Oregon offense retakes the field. This has been an uphill battle for both offenses. Let's see if they can get it going this time. Makes the grab. It's Ferguson. But a huge collision. Blow delivered there by the linebacker. Boy, that's pretty good coverage here by this defense. Not much of a window to throw this ball into, but the quarterback's accuracy and the size of the tight end picks up a nice game. That completion makes it second and medium. Drops back from the shotgun, looking for an open man. With the catch, it's Holden. And they wrap him up after the completion just short of the first down marker. Third down upcoming after that completion. Makes a quick grab. He's marked out of bounds after an excellent game, but there is a flag on the field. This one might be coming back. Pretty easy call for the head coach. He will accept that penalty, of course. Offense facing a third and long from the 28. Got to have your pass protection in order on this play. Oh, it's incomplete. That's a good job of the defender to break that up. The Ducks will line up to punt it away. And here's the fair catch by the return man. Big guys up front lined up. It's first down. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. Breaks loose at the 40. Unleashes the stiff arm. Out of bounds, but not before a huge game. Offense gets a fresh set of downs. Outstanding blocking on the left side of that offensive line. That's really what opened up this play. They did their job, and you can see the results. You burst open and get a big gain on the ground. If I were them, I'd keep going to that side and see how much more success they can have. They stop him at the 22. This offense in great scoring position now. You know, we talked this week with the offensive coordinator about what makes this receiver so special. He kept referring to his route running. Here's an example of that. Great route, enough separation to give the quarterback a nice lane to throw the football. First and 10 now for the offense. Off the play fake, looking to throw. That's oh, a quick shovel pass. 
Tackled at the eight after the completion. Well, this is what coaches love to see. A quarterback with the ability to read the defense properly and then just get it to the open man. Sometimes it sounds simple, but it's tough to execute. This time we have good recognition by the quarterback. Then he gets it down to the tight end. You can see what he can do after the catch. So three plays in, this offense has set up a first and goal. Very efficient so far. And the tight end goes in motion before the snap. Ball carrier brought down, but a flag's on the field. Let's check out this call. Costly hold nullifies the play, backs him up 10 yards. The Nittany Lions will line up here on first down and goal. Goes to his right side there for the completion. Brought down at the seven, but the completion moves him into scoring position. Second down and goal. Catch made, looking for the goal line. That play sets up a third and goal from the five now. To the air, it's Aller. He's got it right near the end zone. And he will score! Touchdown, Nittany Lions. How important was that touchdown, Kirk? It's now a two-possession game here in the second half. It's a great job of this offense with their execution and having situational awareness here in the second half. They now have, as you said, Chris, this two-possession lead. they got a great chance to finish it off and get a win. Now they line up to kick the extra point. With the extra point, the lead is 14. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner an opportunity to bring this back. Fields it inside the five-yard line. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. And the Ducks' powerful offense is back on the field. They were held to a quick three and out last time, looking to put together a positive drive here. And now the handoff. Jukes past the defender. He's in the clear. They get him down, but the junior with an excellent run there. Here's the thing that I love about this play is the running back showing great patience and then the vision to find that hole and then accelerate through it for a nice game. And Kirk, it's Penn State on top as we break for the quarter. We've reached the end of the third quarter in this national championship battle that has lived up to the hype. Before the final period, let's check out the game stats. Pretty good chance it's going to come down to the final possession. Which guy can step up and make plays as we head to the fourth quarter? And then first down, right back to the running game. Solid game, moves the ball to the 36. I'll take that every single time. Offensive line does a nice job up front. This backs vision and ability to get positive yards by lowering his pads on full display right there. Second down after that run on the previous play. Looking to throw. It's Gabriel. Finds his target. They've got him, but that completion good enough for first down yardage. Well, it's another positive play, but man, look at the clock and look at the score. You still need a couple touchdowns to be able to get yourself back into this game and have a chance to win it. So you've got to keep moving here and keep taking those shots downfield. The Ducks lining up here on first and ten. And they'll try to pick it up on the ground. 
And he stopped after gaining four yards. So second and six. Nice solid run here by this back. Did a nice job of just kind of finding that lane. Pick up some positive yards there on first and ten. A game makes it second and medium. Here's the snap. Offense looking to throw the ball. Deep ball is caught for a huge gain here. No stopping him. Takes it all the way. Touchdown, Oregon. Here we go. National championship game. Fourth quarter. One possession game. Kirk. Let's see who's going to step up. Well, the stakes can't get any bigger. The offense has done their job to give themselves a chance. But what about their opponent? What about the other side? How will they handle this pressure late in the game? They still have the lead. I want to see what their plan of attack is and how aggressive they might be willing to be. See if they can convert the point after. PAT up and good to get a little bit closer. Here's the kickoff team now, set to boot this one away. And he takes this from inside the five. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And the Penn State offense comes back on the field. This game just got tighter. The temptation might be to sit on this lead, but we'll see how aggressive they get. It's a quick grab. Brought down for a loss after the completion. Not what they were looking for. Well, the defense does such a good job of taking any threat downfield away. All he could do is throw it to his back and a loss of yards. Now you're behind the sticks. They lose yards on first down, so second and long from the 16. Back to pass. It's Aller. The pocket breaking down. They pressure him and sack him. He'll be tackled inside the 10. Well, you got to do a better job with your fake as the quarterback. The defense did not bite at all on the play action, allowing them to continue to come after the quarterback and come up with that sack. So a tricky situation here. Third and very long inside your own 20. How much of a risk do you take? You know this defense could be very aggressive at this moment. Running back grabs it on a screen. And the tackle is made. The defense was ready for that screen. They stop him short of the first down. Great job here by the defense. Third down and long. You drop back in coverage. Keep everything in front of you. Force that quarterback to have to check the ball down. And then you rally to the football to force his fourth down. Great job here by the D. And the Mitty Lions will have to kick this away. When he comes for his second punt of the game. Bringing it back, it's Johnson. He's brought down, but a good effort to make something of that return. And the powerful Ducks offense retakes the field. The last drive, the passing game, very effective. Moved him right down the field. And the defense make adjustments. Finally out of bounds after a solid game, but there is a flag on the field. So let's check this out. And the head coach will decide to accept the penalty and take the yardage. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. They start the drive with a quick throw to the left side. They bring him down quickly, a short pitch and catch to get a little bit closer to the marker. This is all you can hope for, really. The defense does their job. You get the offense back out on the field. It's a one-possession game. It's up to this quarterback in this offense to deliver, and they're off to a good start here. Second down after that run on the previous play. Offense will keep it on the ground here. has been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Dropping back. It's Gabriel. Let's it go quickly. Can't hold on. Good defensive play. Brings up a fourth down. Well, that's not what you want to see as an offense when you're trailing late in a football game. An incompletion on third down and long. Hey, it's a bit of a risk. But with that clock looking the way it looks right now, I think you've got to go for it here and hope to convert on fourth and long. 
And the Ducks will bring their punt team onto the field. And he boots it out of bounds. Not very long. And the Nittany Lions offense retakes the field. Forced to punt last time. Trying to add points. Build the lead right here. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. The gain is four, so it's second and six. Well, let's see how these guys do here. They're kind of in that four-minute offense mode where they're trying to work as much clock as they can on this drive, working with the lead. Still want to be balanced as best you can, but the important thing is picking up first downs, keeping the ball in bounds, and keep working that clock. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. Tackle is made, but that's good for a first down to the 47. Hey, you got to do what you got to do. You got to rely on that offensive line in the running game here to be able to secure a victory. Good call, and just keep working that clock. The offense will set up on first and ten. Takes the handoff. It's Singleton. And I like to run play here, and offensively at this point in the game, you want to remain in that attack mode first while also staying in bounds and working that clock. Offense getting set. Second down play here. Quarterback keeps the football. And that's a solid game before the defense is able to bring him down. Well, how fitting for him to get another nice carry here because it's been that kind of game in the national title. We knew coming in that he was going to be showcased. I didn't think he would have this kind of performance on this big of a stage, but he has, and a big reason why they're going to win this national title. Pre-snap motion from the offense. And they'll work the clock here by keeping it on the ground. They make the stop just short of the mark where it's getting fourth down and inches. Hold on a second. There's a timeout on the field. The coach wants the officials to take another look at that one. Thinks he might get an overturn. So they take a closer look, and the replay booth will overturn that ruling on the field. Scanning the field, it's Eller. Here's a throw underneath to the back. Receiver brought down after a short pitch and catch. Chris, that's another nice pickup through the air. I, I thought they might be really just out to run the football here with the lead. But instead, they're electing to throw the football. Different routes, quarterbacks in rhythm. Really, it's almost an extension of their uh, passing game. Second down here, time for perhaps just one more play before the two-minute warning. A quick throw out left, complete. Brought down, but it's past the line to gain. So the clock stops as we head into the final two minutes of play here. This defense needing to step up and make a play now. The Mendy Lions will have first and ten here. Only a small game. Now looking at second and nine. And now a timeout taken by the defense trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. Offense getting set. It's second down. Looking for a gap, it's Singleton. Defense finally able to get him down after the juke, but he picks up a decent game. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. Offense are going to keep this drive going into the red zone. It's third down and short. They'll try to run for the first down. Zero running run. Stopped right at the line of scrimmage. And now a timeout taken by the defense trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. Rolling the dice a bit, up one possession and going for it on fourth down. It's a run to the left. And the tackle is made short of the marker. That's a huge fourth down stop to get the football back here late in the game. Buckle up, we could have a great finish. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. Caught way downfield for a huge game. And he takes it all the way to the end zone. 
Touchdown, Ducks. Chris, a really good route here. A nice throw by the quarterback to give them a touchdown to tie this game up. And now we're an extra point away from them taking the lead in the national title. Kicking team out for the PAT try. The PAT is up and good, and we are all tied here in the final quarter. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. And here's the return from inside the five. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the Penn State offense is back out on the field. Last time, the defense got a big fourth down stop. Let's see what the offense can do this time. Looks over the middle, and that's complete. They make the tackle, but not before a solid gain on that pass. Well, I'll tell you what. This guy's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. And here we are late in the game. He needs to continue to play with that consistency. And that's a great example that he's up to. Now they've got to hustle to the line and get set. Looking to pass, it's Aller. Makes a quick catch. And the game just good enough for a first down. They bring him down, but the junior quarterback showing off the cannon. So it's a first down here. The clock is stopped temporarily, but they'll get to the line quickly. And he drops back in the gun. Caught over the middle. It's Singleton. And a timeout is called late in this tie game. Crucial choices coming up. A completion makes it second and short. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun looking for a receiver. He's got an open man downfield and it's caught. Touchdown, Penn State. They have jumped in front in the final minute. Chris, I thought we might be headed to overtime here, but this offense would not be denied. Outstanding execution, and they take the lead. Now it's all about can their defense hold on to see if they can get this win. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. PAT is up and good. The lead by a touchdown here in the fourth quarter. So after the late score, they'll kick it off and hope the defense can hold up, reserve this lead. Fields it just outside the goal line. Gets it to the 25-yard line, and that's where they start the drive. And the Oregon offense comes back out on the field. Here we go. Crucial situation. They've got time to run a few plays. The defense can't just back off here and play too passive. Makes the throw across the middle of the field. Makes the catch downfield. They stop him at the 47, but that's enough for a first down. Man, this wide receiver has been a difference maker in this football game. He's got two touchdowns already. Now they look to him again, and he picks up the first down. And the Ducks will come to the line to crank up the tempo. And the offense wisely spikes the ball here to stop the clock. Offense needs points quickly here, trying to dial up some explosive plays. Let's see what they've got called. Looking to throw, it's Gabriel. Bringing pressure. Oh, a sack, the senior on this defense making a big play. 